for you, whether it was because, I mean, you come up the, the no hitter in 08 and then you've got two rings in Boston and then you're part of one of the most important championships in professional sports history with the Cubs. Like what, what does it feel like for you to be known as a legend in two of the biggest markets in the, in the game that you play? Like it's not a term that's used lightly here. Like, it is Red Sox legend John Lester, and it is also Cubs legend John Lester. Is that strange to kind of like not feel like you have like a home per se? Yeah, a little bit. You know, like I don't, I don't know. You know what, what I'm known more as. You know what I mean? Like I don't know. You know, being I live down here in Atlanta, so like there's a lot more. Cubs fans down here just with the you know the old WGN TBS you know day games and all that stuff so I, I get a little bit more of that but then when you go around the country and travel you run into a ton of Red Sox fans so you know I don't know I don't know what it is I mean I I would imagine that the Cubs are probably a little bit more uh kind of higher up I guess because of the 108 year you know such a big deal even people that weren't Cubs fans watched the World Series that year um so I don't know, man. Like, but you know, the, the the best part about it all is, I mean, you're talking about two legendary franchises. You know, mm-hmm. like these are historic franchise franchises that baseball was built around. And I got to play in the original stadiums for those two teams. You know what I mean? Like that to me, like the history of these organizations. Like I, I I'm just glad I got to be a part of it. You know, like Fenway Park is a cathedral of baseball fields and, and so is Wrigley and they're so unique. Um, I got fortunate enough to play in old Yankee stadium too. Like that was, that was pretty cool, but Mm -hmm. you know, I don't know, man. Like I, I don't, I think anytime you're part of two organizations like this, I don't, I don't think you can go wrong with, with either one. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to make you choose, but the day that you announce your retirement, (laughs) people were saying if John Lester gets into the Hall of Fame someday, what hat do you think he's going to wear? And I was like, you know what? That's a great question. I don't know. I don't know what he would want. I don't know what he would choose. And I don't know what I would pick for him, to be honest. Because it is like it's like there were two championships in Boston. But I think that that Cubs championship counts as almost three. So I don't I don't know if you were to if you were to balance them. I don't know. I'm not going to make you pick. But if you if you let's just say hypothetically, you get the call from Cooperstown five years from now. They're like, John Lester, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Uh, and they don't let you pick either. I think Wade Boggs ruined that for everyone when he wanted to go in as a as a devil ray. Um, but what what do you think <laughs> what do you think the hall would pick for you? Yeah, I mean, I, I will say I, I said this yesterday. I did a couple of these uh podcasts yesterday and they at and I will say I'm very glad that they pick for you. Um, (laughs) But yeah, I mean, if they, I'm glad they do that. If, if that call ever does come, um, you know, I told somebody yesterday, you know, those ugly fan hats that they split down and go half and half, (laughs) you know, that would be great as well if they could do that. Um, It's just like, I, I was, you know, earlier I was talking about the, the, the organizations. I mean, both of these organizations meant so much to me in different parts of my life. And I think, you know, it's like unfair to the other one if you have to choose one over the other. You know what I mean? Like, I I just personally, you know, going through the cancer stuff, being drafted, going through that, coming up, getting kind of building who I am as a pitcher, uh, as a person, starting my family in Boston, you know, all that stuff. And then, you know, being brought in to do something with Chicago and being a part of that at a different part in my life. It just personally means so much more, you know, they mean so much to me that it would just be nearly impossible for me to pick one, one over the other. Yeah. Like it's speaking, speaking as a diehard Red Sox fan, when I saw Mookie win one with the Dodgers, I was like, "Eh," like, yeah, like that, that that doesn't, it didn't bother me as much. It, It didn't bother me as much seeing you win with the Cubs. Um, it's like bothered isn't the word. It just, it's like, 
you would look at a guy like John Lester and it's like, well, that one, like he should still, he should still be here. There was still that part of it where as a fan, you definitely still resent ownership for how things went down.